Me Too movement is hitting the mute button on R. Kelly. The streaming service Spotify is removing R. Kelly's music from its playlists and recommendations. It's just the latest in the growing backlash against Kelly, who's been accused of sexual misconduct for decades. Protesters are trying to get promoters to cancel his concert this Friday in North Carolina, and a growing chorus of celebrities are calling on the music industry to cut ties with the 51-year-old singer. Let's get some perspective on this from pop culture expert John Murray, who joins me now. Hi, John. Hey, Carol. How you doing? I'm good. So. I know that you've been following the R. Kelly story for years and his alleged abuse of many, many women. So Spotify makes this move. No more music from R. Kelly on our service. Is that a good thing? Well, Carol, when the story first populated, everyone thought that Spotify had completely erased R. Kelly from their platform. But that's not exactly the truth. Now, they have this new uh, hate conduct and hate content a policy where they're implementing and they say that R. Kelly fits within the parameters of that. So what they're not going to do is promote him on any of their flagship playlists and any of their algorithm playlists, meaning that if you choose an artist that you like music, if R. Kelly's relative to it, he won't automatically pop up. So R. Kelly is there on Spotify if you choose to consume him, but they're not going to support him or promote him additionally in any capacity. But, but here's the thing, um, although there have been many allegations through the year, he hasn't been convicted of anything. You know what? He has not been convicted of anything. You know, when I was on this show before, I said, I believe that R.J. Uh, R. Kelly is the O.J. Simpson of the music industry because he escaped justice with the 2002 sex tape, which went to trial in 2008. He has become even more infamous than he was the first time around. You know, through my own interviewing of people that worked on his team, through the, the countless exposés, both with BuzzFeed and the Washington Post, with the different women that have been all over TV talking about their experiences with R. Kelly, there are are some horrendous allegations against him and I can tell you from the stories that I've heard firsthand things that we saw on his 2002 sex tape pale in comparison to the things that are happening in his household right now so so why aren't police involved well I, I am under the understanding that the federal government is investigating R. Kelly, that some of the women that have not, uh, that have gotten out of the house have talked to the FBI and other agencies. You know, they do not comment on investigations. And, you know, it can take years for them to really assemble all the facts and do what they're going to do. But I'm told that the, lie, the eye of the law is on R. Kelly, and it's only a matter of time before they make a move. Okay, I'm just going to read R. Kelly's, R. R. Kelly's people sent out this statement. I'm just going to read it in full. Uh, they say he's innocent of the false and hurtful accusations in the ongoing smear campaign against him waged by enemies seeking a payoff. He never has been convicted of a crime, nor does he have any pending criminal charges against him. Okay, so that's his statement. I, I do want to ask you about the slippery slope, right? So yeah. if Spotify does this to R. Kelly... What about other artists who've been accused of wrongdoing but haven't been convicted, like, oh, say, Michael Jackson? Yes, well, you know, Michael Jackson had his day in court as well, and he was actually exonerated of the charges. But here's the thing. It is a new time, Carol. It's a new day. With Me Too and Time's Up, the rules have changed. The playing field is very different. And so I applaud Spotify for taking a bold move, and they're very careful. You know, sometimes when we hear things like the stories with the, the father from Seventh Heaven or with Bill Cosby, networks completely take their shows off our TV. Spotify is saying, no, he's in the catalog if you choose to consume him, but we're not going to promote him. And that's very significant because... Streaming services have revitalized the music business. That's how the music business is within $2 billion of its highest peak ever. And so if music streaming services aren't um, pushing R. Kelly, that could make the record company make a bold move. A bold move. But, but again, I ask you about this slippery slope because, uh, like, bad behavior. How much bad behavior do you need to display for Spotify or other streaming services to act against you? Well, the, listen, the, the term is hateful conduct and hateful content. If you fit within those parameters, I think they're going to assess that and make a decision. So whether you are a country artist, a hip-hop artist, I know a couple of gospel artists that may end up getting pulled off a spot. You might want to govern yourselves accordingly if you want to thrive and have success in this music business because the rules have changed and bad behavior is no longer celebrated or tolerated. John Murray, thanks.